Welcome, Welcome to, to your Morning Cup, Cup with Ivan's Academy. Academy. We're Cash. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kara. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I almost said Kara. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the, the group mentality. <laughs> That's what happens when yes, with cash. It does. One time I did literally intro- introduce myself to a complete oh stranger my God, that as was so funny. Hello, I'm Ashley. <laughs> like, oh, what? I wasn't even there. <laughs> no. You're like, wait, no, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. But I thought, yeah. I did, like you never even heard of that happening. I knew it was possible. I but it was I've good. Never done that. It was a nice presentation. <laughs> Our connection, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Cash is up to something fun these days. We are. So for our listeners may know, or if you didn't know, now you know. Um, we do training with Anelia. So yeah. we started out, we did mentoring with Anelia, and then now we do mystical training, and we're also doing practitioner and mentor training. Yep. Yep. So we are busy doing lots of cool iBen's method tools exactly. and there's a lot of way to apply the tools and for different spaces and places in your life yes yeah. and exactly like iBen's academy your empowerment in your hands is essentially like what we're doing we're getting that knowledge that information and from Anelia and making it accessible to everybody yep so we can all put it into practice exactly because the more empowered we become well generally the more able and high frequency we become too. <laughs> yeah, and I'd much rather be living in a time and a space that is full of a planet of high frequency light workers who are empowered and doing amazing, interesting, cool things. Yep, yep. So that's why we're here. Yes. <laughs> and why we're doing all this work too. Yes. And also to just have a better experience on the planet as well yeah just in our personal lives and we announced about a week ago two weeks so. ago something like that like recently so recently <laughs> we announced on walk with me now which is a private forum by anelia benz mm-hmm. and hosted by aneliabenz.com we announced that cash is leading i ben's method mentoring yay yes super exciting so let's talk a little bit more about mentoring like yes what is what does mentoring even mean? Like, what is a mentor? Well, I'm so glad I asked. <laughs> <laughs> so if you think about these different types of people in our lives, like a coach or a teacher or a sensei or a guru or a mentor, there are different bundles of energy behind each one. Mm-hmm. And if English isn't your first language, I highly recommend that you look it up in a dictionary. In fact, even if English is your first language, yeah, look up what a mentor look, is. Look it up. <laughs> yeah. But for us uh, in this space, basically, when we underwent mentoring, Inelia was our mentor. And essentially, a mentor is someone that you look up to that Uh, You want to map to them, basically. You Mm -hmm. want to either copy an aspect of their life or their energy signature and basically just learn from them so that you can emulate or embody a certain characteristic that you also want to experience in your life. Yeah, that's well said. And and a, a mentor essentially guides and shares experience and they make themselves accessible to you to have... Um, an opportunity, as you said, I love that word map to map to, to learn from, to copy and be able to apply their experience and their knowledge to whatever it is that you're working on. So it's really essential to have a mentor who is doing something or has done something that you want to do. Mm-hmm. Because if, the, if you're looking for a mentor and your mentor is not doing what you want to do, <laughs> it's not going to work out very right. well. Right. right. And why map to someone who's not qualified in that area? Exactly. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But it's a different energy than, let's say, a teacher or a coach. Uh, mm-hmm. Like if you're, let's say, want to hire a fitness coach, like it's a pretty different experience than mm-hmm. having a mentor. A fitness coach will like basically drill instruct you and push you really hard and you have a very regiment structured routine and that's just one example there's other coaches too like a life coach and things like that 
But it's not quite the same energy. It's not. You know, I've been trained as a life coach, and that is much more like we're holding accountability, we're setting structure and deadlines and this, that, and the other, and we're going to make sure that you you reach it because yep. that's what you've been hired to do as a coach, right? Uh, and while you're working with that person, you make sure you reach your goal. But in this sense, with a mentor, it's much more self-empowered where – as a mentee, right, we are setting our goals, we are, we are leading what we're interested in and where that's going, and how we're going to get there with the guidance and the resources that the mentor provides. Exactly. And since so it's self-driven, it's very self-driven because it's empowerment work. Exactly. And that's where the Ibens method part comes in. Right. So there's lots of different types of mentors out there. Like, for example, I had a mentor when I was at university. But this kind of mentorship is specific within using the IBENS method. So all the tools and classes and exercises that Inelia Benz has created and shared over the years, we use those tools throughout this process. That's the foundation of the structure of the mentorship. Yep. There might also be tools that sometimes we end up using that maybe aren't necessarily the Ivan's method, but it's something that is explored we tested, with, tested, we tested, tried it out. Yeah. yeah, and contextualized within um, your mentorship as well. Yeah. So it's it's a cool journey, and it's exciting for us because you know we have spent how much time did you mentor? I think it was like probably a total of maybe a year and a half to two years <laughs> that I mentored, but I went through it twice. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it was about nine months. Yeah. 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 Super fast. Good job. Yeah. And the, the, well, the, and it varies. Right? It does. Yeah. yeah. It, it's very personal and it comes down to your goals. Mm-hmm. And since this is empowerment mentorship, it's, it's more like a self-driven focus, but you get guidance and insights from someone who, and us, more than one, but um, who can see more because sometimes we do need help. We do need some guidance. We have blind spots and this is part of not working alone, right? And being a lone wolf and, you know, it's, it's good. It's okay to ask for help. And this is part of that too, where, you know, sometimes let's say you want to go from one city to the next like you could walk and it might take you three weeks and your shoes might you know fall apart and you're exposed in the elements but you'll get there (laughs) or you can get in a car and drive with a friend and you know have a plan and see where you're going and have a much more pleasant experience and you'll get there faster yeah so at the end of the day you'll still get there but what do you want the experience to be like Exactly. I love that. Yeah, for my first round of mentoring with Anelia, it was very, very specific. I wanted to be rooted, right? Um, I think I've mentioned this in the podcast before, but essentially it was like I was living a gypsy life, you know, changing jobs, changing home. Like just at the time even, I was literally technically homeless. I was like, you know, sleeping at my brother's house while I was trying to figure out what I was gonna, where I was going to live next. And it was very specific to finding that location and a home to buy and set my roots and have community in. And so that mentoring was about five months, I think. And then once I completed it and I I hit my goal, right, it was done. Mm -hmm. And then um, the second round began probably about maybe four to six months later. And I had a new goal where I wanted to become an adult. (laughs) (laughs) I wanted to be an adult of the human collective where I felt like I have, um, you know, if you, if you follow Anelia's work, you've heard her reference, you know, when, when she had a jump in timeline experiences and came to this timeline and was like, wait, there's no adults on the planet. (laughs) Right. Um, so That was something where I was like, I want to step into that role and be an adult. And so that one went much longer, I'd say probably about a year, year and a half. Um, But it also was, it it actually that kind of goal, I had to get more specific. It wasn't just be an adult. I had to be more specific about it. And it covers a lot of different aspects of life. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of work. Both of them really were. But very different 
in the focus and what we were working on. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's such an amazing journey. My goals were, were much more abstract, shall we say, <laughs> uh, which when I'd first, um, uh, given my proposal to Inelia, cause she opened this up in about 2018, 2017 with, uh, walk with me now members, you have to submit a proposal and explain like, why, why do you want to be mentored by her? And what are your goals? What's your payment plan? All of these things. And part of my goals were basically an expansion of awareness to summarize it. And that's kind of vague, right? (laughs) Yes, (laughs) totally. How do you expand your awareness and raise your frequency in daily life? And that's Mm -hmm. basically what my my nine-month journey was about. Yeah. And even though it was much more vague, I saw and felt and experienced huge transformations. Oh, major transformations. Like every aspect of my life. I transformed and it's kind of like doing the Ascension 101 course for the very first time. If you haven't checked it out, do. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But at the very beginning of that course, uh, which we'll put in the show notes if you want to check it out. But at the very beginning of that course, there's almost like a a warning or a disclaimer, a disclaimer, that's a better word, that's like, okay, if you take this course, your life will change. Yeah. So be prepared. Yes. And mentorship is like that times 100, I'd yes. say. But for higher frequency reasons, of course, right? Yeah. And since it's self, self-driven self in the sense of your goals, you're doing the work with guidance and mapping to someone who has achieved those things, it's a lot easier to yes. get there. Yes. And, you know, it, it's something, too, we've talked about a lot in the past, especially in relation to the Instant Manifestation Workshop, is find your allies, you know? Like, who are your allies? And your mentor is your ally, your high-frequency ally. So anything that is high-frequency um, expansion of awareness, um, choice or experience in your life, your mentor is supporting that, mm-hmm. you know, meaning, like, whether it's cheering you on or whether it's uh, you have a question about, hey, I came into this situation, I have a choice point, you know, what do you think I should do? Mm-hmm. Well, let's take a look. Have you tried the timelines mining exercise? And let's explore that and look at this. And, you know, giving you tools and resources and guidance into how to proceed, mm-hmm. right? So it's really an awesome opportunity because I feel like before... I had, a before mentoring, I had a library of resources, which was incredible. And I would do maybe like one exercise consistently for a period of time. And then when that kind of became, let's say, dry or there's no more progress, I would try a different one. And then Anelia would release a class and I would do a class. And then I'd do it once and be like, okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And then like, you know, Move that on. was kind of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and so it, I didn't go deep into things. I wasn't necessarily, um, putting it all to practice either in my, in my daily life. And so that's like another element where you start to learn through the mentoring to actually take that library of resources, take the IBENS method tools that are out there and apply them Mm -hmm. because we use them on a regular basis and very different depends on like what's the situation what is it like we're trying to achieve that helps us decide like which tool are we going to use yeah exactly so basically you're getting personal guidance on which tool to use and how to apply it to your life yeah and that's just you know one tiny little snippet of the experience (laughs) But it's also why it's important to be familiar with the IBENS method tools. And 100%. It's actually you know, re- requirement. Re- requirement, <laughs> yes. You have to have studied all of the material. Yeah. And we literally mean all of the material because we have to have that foundation in order to go deep into areas of your life that you want to change or that are stuck or reach a goal. And we don't want to reinvent the wheel, right? Mm-hmm. Nelia has spent hundreds, if not thousands of hours uh, explaining how the matrix of reality works or what to do with your nine to five job or whatever, right? There are all these tools and and pieces of information out there and, you know, use it. Mm -hmm. And when we have that foundation, we have a shared language and we can work with that language and those tools to 
make it personalized for you and mm-hmm. the goals you want to achieve. Yeah. So that's why it's super important to do that work, not only ahead of time, but also to be familiar with the, the practices and the information so that we can go deeper and talk about more interesting stuff too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That That is key mm-hmm. for sure. Another element as a prerequisite is you must be a member of Walk With Me Now. That's why we only offered this up and shared it initially with the Walk With Me Now um, members. Yep. And, um, you know, there's a, an aspect about mentoring where it requires, because of this, this empowerment piece, right? It requires, and self-driven piece, it requires a lot of commitment. So to me, folks who are committed to um, walk with me now and engaging in the community and participating in the homework on a, right, on a weekly basis that's there and all these elements, like that already is sets the tone for the type of um, compatible mentee for the IBENS method. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And it's also this energy of you don't have to do it alone, right? And Walk With Me Now is a high-frequency community full of amazing tribes doing lots of interesting things. And I know that's part of it. It's mentorship and working together. It's a huge commitment for us, for the mentee. There's a lot of energy and focus of attention and that collaboration is really important. So getting practice with Walk With Me Now is a great way to step into that energy of stepping out of the lone wolf and yeah. co-creating with others and an expansion of awareness, having yeah. other perspectives in your life. And our mentorees are actually, we're, we're taking a minimum of three mentorees and they're actually going to be mentoring buddies. Yeah. One thing we experienced, it kind of just happened organically, was that we had connections with others who are also doing mentoring with Anelia at the same time and and in many in our ways we were still very lone wolf at the time but in our ways we were able to support one another Mm -hmm. and so now we're bringing in more structure into that too where we want to have that intentional um, connection and stepping out of just being that individual mentor, mentee, is that the right word? Yeah. Mentee. Yeah. <laughs> mentee. <laughs> and um, now being also connected to others who are also doing it. And again, it's that our strength mm-hmm. and having that tribe experience, having that connection of the group. The, the sessions will predominantly be individual, but there will be times where it will be as a group yeah. as well. So it's it's cool to be able to kind of that natural mapping as well through that dynamic that we've created to being an individual, having that singular experience, and then also being a part of a collective and yeah. having that collective group experience. Exactly. And that's actually one big reason why Cash is doing this together yeah. <laughs> instead of Kara or Ashley or Ashley or Kara. Yeah. It's like... By being mentors together, we can also have literally more perspectives in your sessions. And actually, um, for a lot of mentees that were mentored by Anelia, Larry was there too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, it wasn't It wasn't just Anelia. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's amazing how that difference of perspective can really support and enhance the experience and the scenes mm-hmm. and the co-creation. So... It really is about that. Yeah. And that's a big reason why we're doing this together yeah. as well as doing having mentees participate as a group but also as individuals too because yeah. that's important too. Yeah. yeah. And there's elements to it too where it's, you know, there's um, regular homework that's assigned that has to be done, having a daily practice, a daily meditation practice, mm-hmm. uh, journaling. And um, there's also, oh, reviews, right? Yeah. Um, you have to submit reviews of not only the sessions we have, uh, but also we need to see an update every three days. Like, yep. how are things going? Check in. Yeah. How's the homework progressing? Are there any reports or blocks that you want to share? And it's really important to do this work because you see your progress over time. Mm-hmm. And that's such a valuable experience to, to see mm-hmm. where you started and your journey and also when you're done when you graduate or you're cooked or yeah you know it's no longer resonant whatever the reason may be when you finish you see that progress you have right. tangible evidence so to speak that you can carry with you for the rest of your life 
Yeah. And if we're learning through mapping and exposure and being in our field and um, gaining the you know awareness that we share, it's like there's these moments where I think of that, that what was it? It was a game show, like who wants to be a millionaire? And oh, it's yeah. like the phone a friend. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there's That's these right. moments in life that can come up as we're navigating, like we're elevating our frequency, we're expanding our awareness. And then this thing happens and it's like, hmm how do I respond in high frequency to this, Mm -hmm. you know? And, um, or just like, that was really interesting. I don't understand what it means, but, but I know there's something there, you know? It's like those moments where, that you have, and then kind of like, at least for me at the time, is like, I look around and there's like nobody, at least in my physical proximity or (laughs) that I knew was also doing this work. So I couldn't, I couldn't quite, have the same perspective shared so the, those check-ins are really awesome because at the three days it's like hey you know I had this interesting experience and I'm curious about xyz mm-hmm. or you know um, this is a dynamic and I feel like it didn't quite respond in the best way you know so I want to explore that response like what would be an alternative you know things like that and even just having that right there it's like crisis Mm -hmm. it makes such a difference and that again it's just reinforcing that experience of being a high frequency empowered um aware Mm -hmm. individual who's also a part of the collective actively and and participating with the high frequency human collective in a healthy fashion right right yeah and, and this is why it's so important to set ourselves up for success. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways to do that is to connect and build connection with other like-minded, high-frequency folks. Mm -hmm. And Walk With Me Now is one way to do that. There's definitely other ways too. But let's say, for example, you're living your life and pretty much everyone you know is sleepy or, you know, they're not working on themselves or bettering themselves or they engage in drama or you know, victim aggressor stuff, whatever it is, it can feel very isolating that like you're alone in a way. And first that's an illusion, but it's also important to connect with people who are doing that work so that you have almost like a lifeline in some way, or you have that connection with others who are also experiencing that too. And building those connections either in person or around the world is so important. And that's where Walk With Me Now comes in as that first step, but then also take it to the next level with your mentees and your mentorship co-creators too. Yeah. And we have an application process and we're very specific around the questions that we ask. There's a reason. And part of it is literally mentees are in the mentees field Mm -hmm. and we are in their field. So meaning um, energetically, there's a connection that's created through that. So, um, you know, think about how would you walk around your daily life if Anelia Benz was in your field? Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know, you might respond differently. You might be just more aware. You might just have that kind of, um, yeah, I think awareness is the best word. Um, Consciousness through your interactions with life versus maybe being like, well, no one's here, no one's looking, whatever, Mm -hmm. you know? And it's not that like, it's like prying and looking, but it's so shared awareness field, right? So um, that means like things get perceived, there's feelings, there's energetic like connection there. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, there has to be that responsibility. And that's why we will only work with individuals who are not drinking, they're not participating Um, with any type of like illicit drugs or things like that you know there's other elements and have done the pre-work because you know this is also part of our like shared experience Mm -hmm. and that shared experience is a real connection yeah and it can be really amazing um and then also you know what if it's not compatible it's no need to to sweat it or push it just Find the the compatible mentor for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because there's a lot of other paths out there, right? This is just one path, and it's the iBend method mentorship path. But really, I mean, you're the author of your life, so 
if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, great. It's your empowerment in your hands. Yeah. So that's why we're here. And it's also important to think about, like, why. Like, why do you want a mentor in your life? Mm-hmm. And why do you want to spend all this time and energy, like, doing daily meditations or taking these classes and doing this homework? And at least for me, like, I felt that, you know, the tools on their own were good, but I needed accountability and I wanted to take it to the next level. Like, there were some major things in my life I wanted to change. I just couldn't, like, articulate how or I didn't know how to go about Mm -hmm. it. And that's why my goals were very vague of, like, I want to be and embody high frequency or Mm -hmm. more high frequency than I am now. Or Mm -hmm. I want to expand my awareness. Mm -hmm. And sometimes just having a mentor to work through that together with is really helpful. Right. But it, it helped give me that push. Mm-hmm. to really be diligent because it can be easy to just, you know, oh, I'm not going to meditate today or, oh, I'm going to engage in this chicken scratch because it's just oh, so itchy. I got to scratch it and yeah. yell at this person or whatever, right? But it's different when you're in this type of engagement because it's almost like literally if you're talking to someone that you maybe engage with in drama on a frequent basis and then all of a sudden imagine like, cash standing next to you <laughs> right would you engage differently right how would you respond instead exactly. that kind of thing exactly exactly and that's why even like the check-ins like the the email check-ins and things like that are so great too right it's like also taking stock right to having that like awareness what's going on what the what's what's happening in my experience yeah. in my my field right now yep and you know if mentorship at this moment in time doesn't sound like it's for you there's so many other things that you can do Mm -hmm. so first you know do the tools (laughs) so go to aneliabenz.com and check out the material there's Mm -hmm. literally hundreds and hundreds of free articles free tools there's paid classes some of them all of them are incredible but the the core prerequisites are the fear processing exercise and ascension 101 if you want to see what it's like in a mentorship experience start with that be diligent do the work do the ascension 101 course in the way that it's designed and Mm -hmm. do it for 21 days each exercise for 21 days and that will give you a sense of what mentorship is like Mm -hmm. Uh, or you know start to journal every day and see what happens there's a lot you can do just to get ready if you do want to get to that level, but maybe you're not ready yet, be proactive. Start today, even Mm -hmm. with just one small thing or maybe taking a bigger step and choosing to join Walk With Me Now if it resonates. Um, But note that you can't join whenever. There's actually only certain times that you're able to join, so prepare for that too. Yeah, yeah. The current um, application process, I guess, will be open until... Well, we don't have a deadline necessarily, but everything begins. The first sessions, um, in-person sessions, begin the first weekend of September. Yep. So um, that means we, you have to have your application in well before then so that we can review it. And then we would have, like, if you're selected, um, then we would have feedback and talk about next steps and get coordinated and have an intro session before then. And Yeah. So there's elements to it where um, if you're, you know, if you're like, oh, this sounds amazing. I totally want to do it, but I don't have the time. Yeah, explore that. Become curious about that. Mm -hmm. Um, I can tell you, at least from my experience, I definitely had like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? But the moment I committed, like the resources were there the time was there the flexibility in my schedule the the money was there everything worked Mm -hmm. you know and you get what you put into it we're not going to put more into mentoring than what a mentee will put into it so you get what you put into it and if you really you know um are committed and you really show up and you really put in the work it's gonna be absolutely incredible Mm -hmm. yep and that that's just you can see it with so many of the mentees who have graduated with Inelia, our experience it's it's really what you put into it that matters yeah and no one's gonna save you 
We're not going to drag you anywhere. Oh, heck no. That's not the energy. <laughs> that's not our style. That's not our style. That's not the energy we want to co-create with. It's really about you and your empowerment. Yep. And putting your empowerment in your hands. And we will support and guide when we can. But at the end of the day, yep. you're doing the work. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yep. So if you're ready for it, do it. Yep. Complete the application. Uh, I'll walk with me now. And if you're not ready for it, like Kara said, take a look at that. Look at what other things you can do now. Mm -hmm. This isn't the only opportunity, um, but it's the only one we know of at this moment that's finalized. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Exactly. So get busy, get doing, and get curious. Like yeah. if there is a firewall of some kind or a fear, look at that because that's yep. the work too. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. That's like the first step. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Well, we're super excited to see where this co-creation is going to go. And, you know, we'll see you guys on Walk With Me Now and join us next time. All right. Bye. Bye.